So I'm sure you've heard of McCarthyism and the Red Scare, but did you know there was a Lavender Scare? Senator McCarthy said he had found 205 communists in the State Department. Among the many charges was one that the State Department had many homosexuals in its employ. The biggest misconception about the McCarthyism, 50s, Cold War era Red Scare was that the communists were the only target, or should I say communists. In fact, the Lavender Scare actually affected more Americans than the Red Scare did, but we don't ever learn about it in school. Up to 10,000 people, possibly more, lost their jobs during the Lavender Scare. But it's impossible to know for a fact just how many, because of the thousand that were fired, how many of them left for fear of getting outed? As horrible as it is that these people lost their jobs, there wasn't a tremendous loss of life with the Lavender Scare. But the hardest pill to swallow when doing research for the Lavender Scare was the story of Drew Ferentz. He was an embassy worker in Paris, living his best gay life. He had his dream job. He was living in a gorgeous flat with his partner. But then the Lavender Scare happened and when threatened to be fired or outed, he went home, turned on the gas stove and asphyxiated himself. The government then lied about it to his family and said he had some underlying health issues, which made him suicidal. But they were the ones who caused his death. Unfortunately, history has repeated itself. We've seen military bans of trans people. We've seen medical rights and other discrimination protections taken away from queer people. But the world is definitely better than it was then, thanks in part to people who were affected by this lavender scare, but who refused to stand by and let it happen. Namely, Frank Kameny. Frank was an astronomer for the US Army Map Service who was fired for being gay, but he wasn't ready to just give up his life and his job that he loved so dearly. So he actually took this to court twice. It actually made it to the Supreme Court where instead of taking the usual route of trying to deny his queerness, he stood up there, told everybody that he was gay, loud, and proud, but he didn't see why the US government had any say in his personal life and why that was a fireable offense. Of course, the Supreme Court didn't really do anything about it, but it's a landmark case because it was the first US Supreme Court case that dealt with civil rights based around sexuality. Frank didn't stop there though. He went on to found the Mattachine Society of Washington and he led and participated in many a picket in front of the White House, picketing and marching through Washington. If I could have a conversation with anyone affected by the Lavender Scare, whether that be Drew or Frank or countless numbers of people who lost their jobs, I would wanna say, your story is being told. People try to erase it, but here it is in stunning fabric and makeup and lashes and hair, telling the story to people, hopefully getting the word out and sharing a little bit of history that has since gone erased. So my original thought for the Lavender Scare dress was to make a 1950s housewife turned spy, make it really campy and fun. But then as I was doing research, I realized that of the 10,000 people, possibly more, who lost their jobs for being gay during the 1950s Lavender Scare, not a single one of them actually turned out to have been involved in any amount of espionage or betrayal of their country whatsoever. So I didn't want to make a costume that pushed that narrative that McCarthy and the government officials are trying to push on queer people. So I decided to go with this 1950s housewife silhouette. She's in the kitchen. She's cooking a pie for her lesbian lover. She's wearing her lavender hair, her lavender outfit. However, the pie catches fire. She gets fired. Wink, wink. She's wearing her frilly cute little apron with a target. It's a little on the nose. But gay people were targeted and fired. You see what I'm doing here? You see it's making sense, America. I thought about doing a purple target just to like keep the lavender theme but as the lavender scare was part and butted up next to the red scare I was like let me add a little bit of 
across curriculum here and make the target red. But I hope that after hearing the explanations that people will, first of all, learn about the Lavender Scare. Second of all, they'll be able to take little things from this costume that like trigger a response in their brain. So they're like, the Lavender Scare, they had to name five other gay people because Celia put five buttons down the center of her dress.